Hi, I'm Jonathan Bays. I'm the Chief Investment Officer at Prime Financial Group, and these are my investment market thoughts. Uh, like for much of the last 12 or 18 months, we remain conservatively minded uh, in our views for investment markets. Uh, stocks are up about 35% in the last 12 or 18 months, and valuations now look quite full. Uh, more importantly, uh, expectations from investors for corporate earnings and the economy looking forward over the next 12 months look quite high, and we feel that they may well be disappointed. Uh, the impact of a slowdown in mining investment continues to weigh on our economy. Uh, despite a change in the federal government in September last year and over 2% of interest rate cuts in the last 12 months, consumer confidence in Australia remains at a 12-month low. As you can see from the chart, consumer confidence rose leading into the federal election in September, uh, coinciding with the last interest rate cut from the Reserve Bank. Since then, we've seen nothing but disappointment. We see no further stimulus. Uh, from the Reserve Bank nor from the Federal Government. The Reserve Bank have made it very clear that they see interest rates on hold for much of the rest of the year and the new Federal Government's infrastructure spending stimulus is likely to be felt in 2015 and not before. Client portfolios are very heavily overweight, uh, high dividend income paying shares at the moment. Valuations in, this, in these sectors in particular are quite high. The banks in particular uh, are trading now at a 20 year high in terms of PEs. Uh, Woolworths and, and, and West Farmers, Telstra and the like also look very expensive as well. Elsewhere China remains a drag. Uh, the slowdown in that economy is going to impact on our natural resource exports. Uh, iron ore and coal prices are, are under pressure at the moment and will continue to be so. Uh, we think through the June and September quarters of this year uh, Australia's trade balance will uh, disappoint uh, and in that time we'll see the Australian dollar weaken from current levels in the low 90s now to somewhere in the mid 80s. So in short, we think there's a soft spot coming. Prime's year-end target for the ASX 200 is between 5,400 and 5,500, around current levels. Uh, however, we do think there is the chance for a 10% fall in share market prices at some point between now and the end of the year. We'd be buyers on that dip uh, and probably looking at buying domestic cyclical stocks uh, if, uh, if that dip was to occur. However, our outlook for 2015 is much more encouraged. Uh, we feel that the fiscal stimulus from the new federal government will likely have a positive impact on the economy and we are, as I say, slightly more upbeat looking into 2015 and 2016. So with higher share markets and fuller valuations, investors are increasingly looking for a new form of income generation. And with that in mind, Prime have chosen to partner with Paul Toussaint to form Protus Prime. If you're looking for more information in that regard, please call your private client advisor or me direct.